Hello, hello. Welcome back to Circle Time. We have a very special guest today. I'm so excited. <laughs> Thanks for having me, Kelsey. Brooke. <laughs> okay, is it Averick or Averick? Averick. Okay. Yeah. Are you sure? But I. Yeah, I am sure, but not. I guess I'm not that sure anymore. Yeah, I'm sure it's Averick, but because when I was vlogging today, I was like, "Oh, Brooke's coming on," and I was like, "Brooke, Brooke." I, I said Averick, and then I was like, "No, it's Averick." And then I was like, "I'm gonna have to just ask her." It is Averick, but I'm like so hesitant to correct people ever. I'm just like, "Yeah, it's Averick." Oh at my this god! Point. I you know. people have called me like Chelsea, uh-huh. Kelly. I will respond to anything. Pretty much same. Yeah, you can't really mess up Brooke though. No, you can't. My one professor called me Brenda for like way too long though. That's and I responded. Really? Yeah. One time I fell asleep in class in high school and my teacher thought my name was like, it was like a substitute teacher uh-huh. and he thought my name, I think was like Kathy. Okay. And so he was trying to wake me up and I could hear him, but he kept saying Kathy and I was like, I'm simply not going to pick Good up for my you. head. Good for you. Know your worth. Thank you. You deserve to be called I Kelsey. I shouldn't have been sleeping. That's not your fault. You were exhausted. That's true. I was yeah. like so busy. High yeah. school was crazy. High school was <laughs> wild. <laughs> Well, Brooke, thanks for coming on. Thanks for having me. I have been on Brooke's podcast a couple times. Thank God. Thank God. You have come to the rescue at our worst hour. It's always a pleasure because it's really easy to talk to you. I love it. And I thought, what a perfect time to have you come join the circle. Thanks, Kels. I'm super excited to join the circle. (laughs) I'm so excited to have you. Brooke was also a preschool teacher. I was. And she had, I would say, a crazier experience teaching than me. Yes. But ne- negative connotation. Right. Yeah. Well, yeah. Yeah. But g- makes for, like, good stories. Right. Where were, where was this again? This, in somewhere in Philly, a preschool in Philly. Okay. Yeah. And I just had, like, a really horrible co-teacher. Right. My first year. Should I tell it? I feel like I I think the circlers deserve to hear it. OK, I have my my reactions won't be as like jaw dropping. Right. But right. I think that you should explain to the circlers what teaching was like for you. OK, I'll at least give the circlers the bullet points. And I have these notes written out on my phone. Right. For this story in particular, because it's like so complicated and there are so many details. It is so interesting. And I just feel like, you know, you have to share. Yeah. Do you mind? Not at all. Okay. Let me just pull it up. Okay. Teacher April. Oh my God. Wait, was that her actual name? No, but you named her April. I did name her April. I was like, what's a name that's ba- like you don't like. Sorry to any Aprils Sorry out to there. Any Aprils. And it's not that I don't like it. It right. was just the first thing that came to mind. Right. You do like it. It's just that this person seemed like an April to you. Totally. I yeah. actually love it. You love the name I April. I love yes. the name April. Yes. Yes. And yeah, you want to yeah. give it more publicity. Right. <laughs> <laughs> no, this is not good publicity <laughs> for the name April. No, but this person's name isn't actually April. We're using a pseudonym. Right. So, so please. It is really good if you're named April, actually. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just to clarify, absolutely <laughs> loving the name April and just more excited to use it more in my day to day life. Right. OK. OK. So graduated college mm-hmm. in 2018. OK, that makes you 26. That makes me 26. OK. And then I graduated in May. And then so yes, when's Kels, your birthday again? June 18th. June 18th. OK, yeah. I just didn't want to forget. Gemini. Mm-hmm. That's Crazy. not good. Yeah, I don't actually know. Me neither. But I've never seen anyone have a positive reaction. Oh, okay. Do that. it again. What are you? Gemini. <gasps> oh, June eighteenth. Oh 18th. my god. Hey, you're a Gemini. <laughs> Thank you, Kelsey. I yes. love that. Yes. I love Gemini. <laughs> Thank you. I love Aprils. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. So, so sorry. Twenty eighteen. Twenty eighteen. Graduated. Graduated. College. College. End Which of May. College. Boston University. Here we go. Yes. What was your mascot? A terrier, a dog. I never went to one Boston a Boston terriers. terrier, a Boston terrier. <laughs> I didn't participate in that. Any. Was the mascot? Are you sure? I'm like ninety nine percent sure. It was the terriers. Yeah, that's crazy. I think so. That's so sweet. Yeah, I guess we didn't really have sports except for hockey. Okay, and maybe some others that I don't know about. Okay, here we go. Terriers okay. graduated. Sorry in. 2018, yeah, May. Terriers. Started working right away at the beginning of June. Had like one week at this preschool mm-hmm. in Philly 
right by my house that I had never heard of, which was kind of a red flag. Okay. That it was right next to my house. And like, you know, you just like know all the schools. Yeah. In your area. Yeah, for sure. Just like had never heard of this one. Okay. Did you always know you wanted to teach preschool? I knew I wanted to work with kids. Yeah. And this just like, I was always a camp counselor and always a babysitter. Okay. So I was like, this yeah. just like seems like the logical Totally. Path. What did you major in? Early childhood education. Oh my God. We are just absolute we, twins. Really? You were child development, right? Yes. They didn't, yeah. like, they didn't have early childhood right. education. They had child development right, in my right, school. Right. Yeah. Like same, the same, same yeah. exact kind of thing. Okay. Sorry. Okay. I'm so sorry. I keep derailing. No, you're good. So I dive right into this new school mm -hmm. one week after graduating and like, I don't know how to teach or do anything. Right. And right off the bat, the people at the office are like, okay, you're going to be starting in this new classroom with teacher April. Mm -hmm. and, and what age were the kids? The kids were three. Okay. And crazy age. Yeah. And they did let me know that teacher April was going to be on her honeymoon for the first two weeks of school. Okay. Which all teachers know the t first two weeks, critical. Pure mayhem. Honestly. Mayhem. And like... That's like the latching period. That's like, <laughs> yeah. like you, like that's when you get the kids to kind of like develop these relationships with you so that yes, they can trust, trust you. you. So like for sure, super critical. Yeah, teacher April was on her honeymoon. Classic. So I was kind of asking around about her while I was teaching alone. Okay, at the age of twenty two with with twenty five kids with which is there are ratios right, and that is not the right ratio. It shouldn't right. ever be one to twenty five. Right. It's especially, that is illegal. That is illegal. Yeah. Especially for like a new teacher. Right. Like, like I remember my first year teaching. You just don't know what you're doing. It was like so scary. Yeah. It's horrifying. It was so, so horrifying. So. Yeah. There were like they put another body in the classroom. So okay. the, the ratio was fine. Oh, But it was okay. like the body of like the janitor. Okay. You know? Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. Okay. Right. So I would ask around about teacher April. Like yeah. to the other teachers. Like, what's I would be the like, vibe? What's the vibe? They wouldn't really give me like any sort of straight answer. Okay. They were just like, you know, she is, you know, all about tough love, which is like you, you just like tough love's never what you want to hear exactly. It's also just, it's not, it's like a backhanded compliment almost. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's more just like, it's a microaggression kind of like, <laughs> <laughs> right. Yeah. But it's also just like when you're like looking for something like, if I try to think to about saying something that like nice about someone that I don't really like, you would say it's always something up. along yeah. the lines of like, they really know what they like and they stick to that and you have to respect them for that. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> right. And that was kind of what I was getting about right. okay. teacher April. Okay. So two weeks later, she comes back. First thing I said was like, hi, so nice to meet you. How was your wedding and honeymoon, whatever, just says we didn't get married. Okay, perfect. No explanation was <laughs> no explanation whatsoever. Was kind of like cold that day. Like clearly that question, like something had happened. Right. Or tough love. Or tough love. Yeah. Right. Right. Yes, exactly, okay. Kelsey. So so didn't get married. Didn't get married. Then right away, this little boy, Joey, had his lunchbox on the floor and he had like accidentally stepped on it. Like as a three-year-old would do or like a 26-year-old. As I would do. As yeah. anybody would accidentally step on a lunchbox. Right, if it's on the floor, yeah. Right, so then teacher April immediately goes, did you buy that or did your mom buy that? <laughs> <laughs> and then he was like, my mom. And she was like, he was, she was like, then I'm going to tell your mom that you're treating her belongings like that. Like, I mean, that's so wild. It was like off the rails. Like I've never seen anyone talk to a three-year-old that way, let alone... Like someone whose profession is early childhood right, education. Right, right. Like they are not getting that concept. Like threatening this little boy. <laughs> that is not helping that them. I'm going to tell on you to your mom that you are not treating your lunchbox with respect. Right. Can yeah. you imagine being the mom like on the receiving end of that? No. Like I would literally be like, that's fine. He's three. It's yeah. okay that he well, stepped on his lunchbox. The crazy thing is when the parents would come around, then she was oh just my a, a God. sweetheart classic Cl very that classic. is a big big teacher april move yes yeah classic teacher april okay okay so then i started kind of complaining to the other teachers yeah about her behavior right and they were like yes so yes okay um <laughs> we see you and 
You know, they were telling me, you know how your classroom is like right next to the office and that like you can peer directly into your classroom from the office. And I was like, yeah, they were like, so they put teacher April there for a reason okay. so that they could kind of <laughs> monitor like what she's up to. And I was like, oh, awesome that she that they put me with her as right. well. Yeah. Really good my, place to toss. Yeah. The new the new bait. Exactly. Yeah. So then after I started complaining to the teachers, I eventually like had to go to like the office that was right outside of our classroom. I would literally just like step out of our classroom and just like peek my head out the door while we were teaching. Like teacher April, get a load of what teacher April just did. (laughs) And they just had me like write all my complaints down in the teacher April file that had been going on for years. Which I mean, that's how you know. That's how you know. It's bad. Yeah. And then I was there's a file on someone. Exactly. Because apparently... I guess it's really hard to fire someone and you need like a you full, need you need like a lot of proof. You need a lot of proof. But I also don't understand like why the whole file like wasn't, wasn't enough, enough proof. Yeah. You know, totally. OK, so writing in the teacher April file. OK. OK. Were you writing like constantly like every I, I day? Mean, 15 trips a day. That's literally like, insane. She was like emotionally abusive to them, but also like physically like really rough. OK, too. Yeah. In like a scary way. Yeah. Like, just, like, not, did not want to be around it. Right. Then she went on her second honeymoon to, and she told me she was going to Bermuda. Okay, so when did the second honeymoon come about? This was probably, like, two months. And she was like, hey, just letting you know, I'm going on my honeymoon Oh, no, she didn't tell me. So who told you? She didn't show up, and I was like, where's Cedar April? And they were like, on her honeymoon. And I was like, okay. As they said before. As they said before. Exactly. Did she mention, like, anything about anything did you guys no. talk? Like, were you friendly no. at all? No. Okay. No, we only talked like in front of the kids when I was like, did you heat up Joey's chicken fingers? Right. Totally. Yeah. And she didn't. Right. She never, never did. did. And never did. She knows the temperature that he likes them. I I can't relate more. <laughs> okay. So she said she's going to Bermuda. And at this point, I'm like, okay, I'm going to stalk you on social media. Duh. I'm surprised it took um, you No, I think months. I had before, but like didn't like find anything. But I was like, okay, I need to again to like see what this Bermuda trip is kind of looking like. (laughs) So I did find pictures of the Bermuda trip. Turns out it was in Atlantic City. Okay. So she did end up getting married in Atlantic City. Okay. And then honeymooned also in Atlantic City. Okay. Which is like fine, but like, why are you telling me that you're getting married on an island in Bermuda? Yeah. That's, that's just be honest about it. Yeah. (laughs) So that was bizarre. And then she came back and then... I was like, how's your wedding? Good. She told me all about Bermuda, which like I knew you weren't in Bermuda. Which is wild. Yeah. Like she like had all these lies prepared, like about where they went in Bermuda. I, that makes me, I'm itching with like nerves. Yeah. Like that makes me so uncomfortable. Right. Okay. And she like brought back like trinkets and stuff that were like kind of like tropical. <laughs> so, okay. But, I, but I, you know. I guess she got them from like the gift shop at the casinos. I don't know. Okay. Or like Amazon. Right. That's a good point too. Right. So then like a week she's back and then like a week later she comes in and is like looking kind of sad. Stop. And I I did like decide to ask her if she was okay, whatever. That's sweet. Yeah. Her Such husband died in his sleep. Stop. <laughs> it's not funny. But it's it just not. was just <laughs> like really wild. Like the night before. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> like she woke up. And he wa- he was no longer with us. I'm so sorry. I'm not laughing at the concept no, exactly. of Teacher April's husband dying. It's more the concept of her like waking up, being like, "Oh my god, he's dead," and Shit. then being like, "Okay, I gotta get gotta to work. Get into work. I'll take care of this later." Like looking a little bummed, but like nothing. Right. Like, like bummed. Like she just spilled her coffee. Like she was much more upset when I asked how her wedding was <laughs> okay. the first time than when she told me that her husband died in his sleep. Okay. Got it. So then I look up the obituary. Duh. Because I'm like, did he even die? Yeah. Did you? Yeah. He did die. Okay. But he was on the run. Okay. From stealing $200,000. He was a caretaker. And so he had stealing, stolen $200,000 from the old gentleman that he was taking care of. Stop. And he was on the run. No. And that is actually <laughs> why they couldn't get married the first time because he was in jail. Oh, my God. From because they found him every time. I mean, this is not my first time hearing this. And it's still like, is it feels like the first time. Right. No, it is. It's, That's it's insane. insane. It's insane. All right. Circlers, we're doing a little check in. Okay. Where we see if we have stuck with the goals we set in 2023. 
I'm doing this to keep myself accountable and hopefully you are doing the same. And when it comes to my goal of cooking more meals at home and eating in, I definitely have been doing a good job, but I absolutely could not have done it without the help of HelloFresh. HelloFresh is here to help you eat better by delivering fresh ingredients and easy recipes right to your door, taking the hassle out of dinner time. No matter your lifestyle or your meal preferences, HelloFresh has recipes sure to please everyone at your table. From fit and wholesome to veggie or family friendly, you'll always find something even the pickiest eaters will enjoy. And when I say that it's easy, I am not lying, okay? HelloFresh's pre-portioned ingredients and easy to follow recipe cards means you can get a delicious home-cooked dinner on the table without all the time-consuming meal planning or prepping. I'm telling you, from the bottom of my heart, my sweet circlers, that every single meal I've cooked on HelloFresh has been absolutely delicious, okay? And easy. Like, I'm not that great in the kitchen, but thanks to HelloFresh, I've learned so much and I love it. I think everyone should try. I always recommend HelloFresh to people and they all love it. My parents even started using it and they loved it too. So you have to try. I know I have also mentioned every plate to you guys before as a meal kit that I love and every plate is now owned by HelloFresh and with a wider array of meal plans to choose from, there's something for literally everyone. So go to HelloFresh.com slash CircleTime65 and use code CircleTime65 for 65% off plus free shipping. That's HelloFresh.com slash CircleTime65 and use code CircleTime65 for 65% off plus free shipping. So I have always loved using clothes and my outfits as a way of expressing myself and who I am through my clothes. I can remember like being a little kid and being so excited to pick out my clothes every day and telling my dad that my favorite part of every single day was getting dressed and deciding what I get to wear. And that has not changed. I still love that so much. And I've really been trying to expand my clothing horizons and try new things and experiment. And with Newly, I can express myself in so many fun ways and experiment with new ways and styles so easily. Newly is a subscription clothing rental service. For only $88 a month, I can choose six styles to rent for whatever I have going on. So like if I have a specific event or something I want to find a cool outfit for, I can find that on Newly. It gives me access to thousands of styles for more than 300 brands like Free People, Love Shack Fancy, Anthropology, Selkie, so many good brands in a range of sizes from petite to 5X plus and maternity. I am definitely guilty of not wanting to be an outfit repeater uh, and wanting to try new things. And so that just always causes a lot of clothes and a lot of finding cool stuff. And this is just way more sustainable than buying stuff I'll only wear once. It's also such a great way to try different trends and brands that you're curious about before fully committing to buying. And the best part is that it's flexible. So there aren't late fees, damage fees, and the option to pause or cancel anytime is so amazing and really helpful for me because I'm just like the most indecisive person ever and I'm always putting off returning things. So love that. And I feel like you all will love Newly too. You have to try it out. If you're like me and you want more style, flexibility, and sustainability in your life, you need Newly. Get $20 off your first month when you sign up with the code CircleTime20. Just go to N U U L Y dot com. That's Newly with two U's and enter the code CircleTime20 at sign up to get $20 off your first month. Newly, more life in your clothes. Okay, so. Then she got like kind of agitated, which makes sense. Her husband died. Yeah. But like more agitated than normal. So like more emotional abuse, like more just like being rough with the kid. Like yeah. I was like sprinting back and forth to the teacher April <laughs> file. And she had ha already taken two honeymoons. Right. So she was out of PTO. Duh. So she couldn't take time off to mourn. So she was. Okay. Well, that's insane. But like the two honeymoons. The two honeymoons. Is a stretch. Right. So she was just like miserable obviously and just like on top of her already being miserable right okay so then doomsday doomsday happened, happened and we were lined up outside ready to come inside hey from recess and sweet little boy johnny is spitting out water onto the pavement yeah and then 
slurping it back up off of the pavement with his mouth. Love it. Okay. Yeah. Like, sure. Inventive king. Yeah. Inventive yeah. king. In this situation, if I were trying to redirect Johnny, <laughs> yeah. I would say, hey, Johnny, there's plenty of water in your water bottle. Right. It's safer to drink from your water bottle. Right. You know? Explain that like right. drinking off the ground could get a, like, exactly. get sick you could get or sick, something. Whatever. Yeah. At, Teacher April took a different approach. Okay. What was what was TA's she, approach? She like pinched his nose. Okay. So hard that it left a mark and like he immediately started crying. And I just like picked him up, marched him into the office, and I was like, Johnny, tell everyone like what Teacher April just did because I was at my wits end yeah, I was like it should sure. not have gotten to this point for sure where this kid is bruised right and then he just goes teacher April socked me in the face <laughs> 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 like poor Johnny but like good for him for being an advocate for himself he in that really moment is. yeah <laughs> and then they like got up immediately like called her into the office and thankfully there was a camera Okay. Outside. Right outside yeah. where that had happened. So they got the whole thing on footage. Thank God. And then she was fired. Oh my God. Yeah. And then. When was this in the school year? This was probably like November. Oh my God. So we've had, it's only been a couple months. So yes, I started in June. Yeah. So it was oh, like. Right, right, right. Okay. And then, but she was like yeah. honeymooning for like right. two of those months. Right. <laughs> so it was a long time with her. Too long. And then who took over? For like three months, it was just like random like floaters right, coming in right, and out. Right, right, So I was like pretty much, again, like alone. Yeah. Which I would have preferred over Teacher April. And for then sure. another teacher came in and she was actually awesome. So okay. that worked out. But for the three months that I was doing everything on my own, I did ask for a raise. Yeah. Because I was like, I am doing the job of two people. Two people. And also I've been through hell. Yeah. Like, would you consider something? And they were like, sorry, we don't do that. And I was like, okay, awesome. Classic. Yeah, glad I asked, you know? Because you yeah, missed 100% you know, you of the shots ask. you don't take. That's so yeah. true. Yeah. I I mean, good for you. Yes. Were you getting Were you getting paid a lot as a teacher? Can I just like tell you how much I made? Yeah. I was making $25,000. Yeah. Yeah. No, that, that sounds about right. That's yeah. kind of like close. But that's the, like around what I was making as well. They don't tell you like when you graduate what a salary should look like that is true but like at the same time like you don't I have just, any options with you, teaching you don't i would so i was getting paid hourly uh -huh. i was making yeah, like me too i was making like 13 dollars yeah hour. something like that some like 13 13 50 somewhere around there and right. i remember being like on the phone with my dad being like oh my god yeah like i, I thought i was rich. 13 50 an hour and he was like okay well you can't Lift up, pay your rent. <laughs> yes. <laughs> or eat. Right. Um, but good luck out there. Exactly. Yeah. Like, I didn't know. Like, to me, $25,000, like, as a kid who's just, like, is getting allowance and, like, a Same. summer job yeah. salary up to right. that point, you're like, oh, my God, I'm loaded. Right. And then you start, like, your friends start, like, who are in, like, marketing or, like, fucking like recruiting Consulting. or something. Yeah. Like, are telling you what they're making and you're like, oh. Something's not adding up. Right. Yeah. So that was that. Okay. And then I taught for another year at a different school. Okay. And that was great. And then and then, and then I got on TikTok and and left. So you st did you start on TikTok during the pandemic? Yes. Okay. So we were teaching were you on virtually. Zoom? Okay. Yeah. Did you do that too? Oh yeah. 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 Yes. Kind of I kind of loved it. Really? I I got it like first of all I was the only teacher from my school who was doing the Zooms cuz like also teachers or like at least, like a lot of times they're just like moms yes they're just like nice people yes and I just feel like so a lot of them were like I'm I can't figure zoom out right. like I don't know and then the school opened up like pretty early early on with like masks and uh -huh. stuff but a lot of kids didn't want to or a lot of parents didn't want to send right. their kids back so I would do the zoom right. so I was doing zooms for different oh, classes that's nice and then the kids started like trickling out going back to school some just like couldn't do uh -huh. the zoom and so I had just like a core group of kids and we like crushed it. Wow. Yeah. That sounds so fun. It was, it was, it was not like, it was not ideal. Right. But we made the best out of the situation. Oh, I love that. Yeah. So you were doing Zoom as well. We were doing Zoom with the whole class. That's for like, it was tough when it was yeah, all of them. When it was all of them for like that March to June yes, period yeah. in 2020. Yeah. 
And I feel like I like no one just like ever figured out how to do it. Yeah, it it's I feel like when we had just everyone in there, mm-hmm. it was like not not it. No. But when it was like me and like five kids. That sounds good. It was like you guys are down. I'm down. Let's do it. Right. And like when it was all of them, we had to like mute every single yeah, kid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Except for one. Right. And then like couldn't figure out like when another kid needed to, to talk. talk. Yeah. yeah. It was just, no, it's not. And then there's like parents and it was a little bit too much for yeah, sure. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. The parents were always there. I feel weird like teaching in front of parents. It's always a little bit awkward yeah. when the parents are there. Yes. Unless you like know the parents. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. But it was kind of like... I liked that I got to like work from home, but still teach. Cause like, that's really impossible. Best of both worlds. Yeah. Yeah. So I thought that was cool, but ideally obviously wouldn't have done zoom. Right. So when did you like stop teaching after that, after that, after that year? year. Okay. Yeah. I had got on TikTok like April and then I started getting really nervous that like the parents were going to find it. I wasn't posting anything bad. No, you were reading your yeah. old journals and stuff, yeah. right? Yeah. I loved them. Thank you, Kelsey. You're welcome, bro. (laughs) But I was just like super paranoid. For sure. Yeah. Yeah. And then I eventually like some kids found it because it was like a preschool through eight. Oh. School. Okay. And then I confessed. Like like, I had like, I confessed to my boss as if I was like fully like going to church. (laughs) And then she was like, okay, that's like completely fine. Right. Awesome. Like as long (laughs) as it doesn't. As long as you're like yeah, showing the children's long, exactly, faces. Exactly. Yeah. 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 But then I just got like freaked out by totally doing both at the same time. So I get that. Went on a different path. Yeah. I mean, I understand. I did have one. Like I always felt like it was pretty separate for mm-hmm. me. No one really figured it out. Right. My boss knew. And I feel like having her know and be okay with like my full other career, like made me feel better because right. I was like if she knows and she's fine with it it doesn't really matter what anybody right. else you know exactly. what I mean and I was outside I was like subbing in a class one mm-hmm. time and like this dad was like outside with me and he was like like he was like talking to his kid I was you know helping other yeah. kids we weren't like interacting and then all of a sudden he was like so when's your next YouTube video coming out oh my god <laughs> and I was like I literally was like no no like, Never. I'm, the account has been deleted. I, am, I don't know. What's YouTube? Like, <laughs> yeah. I literally was like, oh, that's so funny. And he was like, he tried to like explain how he found it. But I was so freaked out that I like couldn't, I like, I couldn't deal. Like I told my boss, I was yes. like, that made me so uncomfortable. It's super uncomfortable. Yeah. It's just like, because I'm not making it thinking like this random kid's dad right. is watching me. Right. Like there's, they were so separate to me. And then I was a little bit freaked out. And then I like. And, you know, parents talk. So it's like, what are they? Are they I all know. watching together? Like, you just never know. I know. And now, like, now, like, I'll have moms, mm-hmm. like, respond to my Instagram stories and right. stuff and be like, so cute. Yeah. You look great. And I'm like, okay. Yeah. Thanks. Now it's, like, fine since I'm not doing it anymore. Right. right. But I get not wanting to do both. Yeah. Do you, like, do you miss teaching? I miss the kids. Like, yeah. I don't miss, like, being in a classroom, like, not even being able to, like, take a break to pee. Totally. Or like, like just having like such an intense schedule. Yes. Yeah. Like I just would come home every day at three and pass out. Same. Pass out. I would work eight to five. Yes. I would come home at, I would get home at like 520. I lived in Los Feliz uh-huh. at the time. I'd get home at like 520. I would sleep until 730, wake up, eat and go back to sleep. There was no, you couldn't have any sort of no. evening I mean, I couldn't pay asleep. for it either. Yeah. Like I couldn't like go out to eat, Mm-mm. but like I would like. It was the worst. Yeah. No, you have no social life. No. No. So I don't miss teaching, but I miss the kids. Yeah, me too. I miss like interacting yeah. with children. Me too. And I want to like find something to do. I know. You know what? I've what? been thinking about this. I've been Tell thinking. Tell me. Well, I've been thinking about, I guess like this is pretty premature. But A like podcast I would, with kids? No. Oh my okay. God. I would love that. We should do that. We should do that. Okay, put a pin in that. Okay, Marsh, <laughs> write that one down. But I was thinking of doing some sort of like charity type of yes. thing where like people that like creators or whatever that like want to do something like this, like get together and like read books to 
kids like get like a do like a book drive get like a bunch of like book donations and then like have something where we like read to kids and like play with the kids and then like donate the book somewhere I would love that to I do feel that like that'd with be fun. you and support you on that thank in you any so way much I, I mean you're the first person I've said it out loud to besides Cody so it sounds awesome there's some stuff I would need to like figure out yeah but I, I feel like it could be great I think so too I also have even thought about like just like volunteering to like do one of those reading circles at Barnes and Noble. No, literally same. Just like anything. Anything. Should we do that? I think so. Okay. That could be a good first step. Yeah. Yeah. Let's look into that. Okay. Okay. I'll contact some local Barnes and Nobles. Maybe there's like local bookstores. That's even better. Or like libraries. Oh my God. Awesome. I forgot about those. Yeah. That's I have perfect. a friend who works in the library, so she always posts about libraries, so I never forget. Let's go to the library. Okay. Okay. I don't know if any of you can relate, but I feel like a lot of times when I really want to start something and I get really excited about something, I immediately get overwhelmed because I don't even know where to begin and how to start that project or that endeavor, whatever it is. So then I just don't do it. Or I do it late because I'm just stressing out. And I feel like when I use tools that are easy to maneuver, that I understand, that really helps me get started. And I always do better. That's where Squarespace comes in. From websites and online stores to marketing tools and analytics, Squarespace is the all-in-one platform to build a beautiful online presence and run your business. Everything's there. You don't have to worry so much. Squarespace really has the tools you need to get your business off the ground, including e-commerce templates, inventory management, a simple checkout process, secure payments, all of that in one place. You can also connect your social media accounts. I love this. So you can display posts from your profiles on your website and you can push website content to your profiles so that your followers can also share it. And you own all of the content you put on the Squarespace platform. They offer one-click data portability. It really is just so helpful and just the best way to get started. So go check it out at squarespace.com slash circle time for a free trial. And when you're ready to launch, use offer code circle time to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or a domain. So my circlers know that I am a worrier. I was going to say a bit of a worrier, but I'm not a bit of a worrier. I just am a full-on worrier and that's okay. And one thing that I have always worried about and has always made me nervous is finding a good doctor or even just going to the doctor. I feel like I've just had my fair share of doctor's appointments where like I don't feel comfortable and the doctor doesn't actually seem like they care. They just walk in and seem like they don't want to be there and that they're just trying to get me in and out of the room as quick as possible. And it just makes me even more nervous and even more uncomfortable. And then it makes me not want to go. That is until ZocDoc. On ZocDoc, you'll find quality doctors who focus on you, listen to you, and prioritize your care. ZocDoc is the only free app that lets you find and book doctors who are patient-reviewed, take your insurance, are available when you need them, and treat almost every condition under the sun. No more doctor roulette or scouring the internet for questionable reviews. With ZocDoc, you have a trusted guide to connect you to your favorite doctor you haven't met yet. Millions of people use ZocDoc's free app to find and book a doctor in their neighborhood who is patient-reviewed and fits their needs and schedule just right. It really helps me, the classic worrier, worry a lot less. Well, I mean, I'm, you know, at least I'm worrying a lot less about finding a good doctor now. So go to ZocDoc.com slash circle time and download the ZocDoc app for free. Then find and book a top rated doctor today. Many are available within 24 hours. That's Z-O-C-D-O-C dot com slash circle time. ZocDoc.com slash circle time. Now in this version of your life. Yeah. You are, you have your podcast. Yeah. Brooke and Connor make a podcast. Yes. And what, like, how do you feel about TikTok now? Do you still enjoy making TikToks? Do you want to like do, would you ever do like Mm -hmm. YouTube? Would you ever do anything else? That's a good question. I do want to write something. Okay. But I haven't written anything yet. Okay. So that is something like, that's a goal eventually. And I think like where I'd like to end up because I do feel like all the TikToks 
I make are kind of like little bits that are yeah, written. Yeah, for sure. And they're very funny. Oh, thank you, Kelsey. Yeah. But I do like, I feel better on TikTok now than I used to because there's not a lot of pressure now that I have the podcast. I feel like, okay, the podcast is my main thing. Right. And if I post a TikTok, I post a TikTok. And if I don't, it's not the end of the world. Right. It's not like you're right. end all and right. be all. Yeah. Whereas it used to be like, this right. is my th- only thing. So it's like, if I don't post one, I would like get really right kind of down on myself. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. I get that. Yeah. But right now, loving the podcast. Okay. Still TikToking, knitting. Duh. Love to knit. Yeah. We talked about this yeah, the other day. We did. You, what are you working on right now? Did I ask you that the other day? Yeah. I don't know. But I'll what tell you. What are you working on? I'm kind of not like in the, I'm in a transitional period. Okay. Right now between projects. Okay. But I have an ongoing blanket. That's a mood blanket. Oh, so for every day of 2023, I'm gonna I'm knitting a row, Brooke. Depending on my mood, I love that. Thank you, Kelsey. That is really <laughs> amazing. Thank you. That is such a good idea. Thank you, Kelsey. And it's gonna be massive at the end. 365 rows, all different colors, and you can just look back and be like, "Whoa, what was happening here?" Oh my god. Wait, you should write it down. Yeah, I have it all written. Okay. Like you have it written like why your mood was what? Oh, no, I don't. You should like journal with it. That's, I mean, you just like find new ways to like keep me inspired. (laughs) Well, I feel like because then you could like count the rows and be like, okay, seven is a crazy color. Right. What was I feeling? Why was I so weird on January, whatever this day is? And then be like, oh my God. So then when I circle that. Yeah, that's a good idea. I'll do that. Well, okay. So you do a row a day. Well, Is I write, said? yeah, in theory, I should be knitting one row a day, but I haven't done it in a few days, but okay. I still like write down how I'm feeling how you're feeling, and then go back. That's and, beautiful. Yeah, that's perfect. And I'll do it when I sit down. So how long does a row usually take? Well, I guess for a blanket, because it's like wide. Yeah. I think I did like 150 stitches. Okay. So you have to knit like 150 times, basically. Okay. Got I would it. say, let's say each stitch takes like, Five seconds, right? Five times, five times 150. 150. We both know what that is. It's <laughs> <laughs> we don't even have to say it. <laughs> five times 150 off the top of my head. Yes, we could 500. No, let, I could actually figure this okay. out if I if I just take a second. Yeah, you could. Five obviously times 150 is gonna be carry the one, and then <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be 750. That's sounding exactly right. <laughs> yeah. So it'll take 750 seconds, which is how many minutes, Kelsey? We both know this. That one <laughs> is impossible for me to try to figure out. Right now. What would I do? Divide it by 60? Yes. <laughs> yes. I think I think it, that's exactly what you would do. Cool. Well, I'll do it later. But yeah. We don't have the tools <laughs> right now. Okay. So it takes you not, I guess, not very long. Not that long. Okay, this is what I'm wondering about because I was actually talking about knitting in the my in the podcast I just recorded okay. after you left our place. Yeah. Because I did a journal question that said like talk about the first time you learned to do something and I had knitting on the brain. So I talked about when I learned how to knit when I was a right. child and I was trying to knit my cousin a baby blanket. Max. Max is my yeah. dog's name. <laughs> <laughs> Max is my parents' dog's name. Matt. So my cousin's name is Jake. Jake. Yeah. <laughs> but shout out Max and Matt. Yes. And Matt. Yeah. Yeah. But so I was knitting Jake a blanket, but I basically I didn't do enough rows. Mm-hmm. Do you need longer needles? You like if you're making like a Y. If you're making blanket, like a blanket. Yes. You would need needles that have like a rope in between them, like a cord. So is that what you have yeah. for this blanket? Exactly. Oh my God. So you keep the stitches on the cord. Oh my God. That makes so much sense. Yeah. I would just absolutely love to dive back into this world. Come to Knitting Club. I was going to tell you guys to come yesterday. Oh, it's yesterday. But we didn't knit. Okay. But any Wednesday that you feel like you want to, it's always there. I really would love to. I just feel as though I need to like practice before I come. Okay. You know what I mean? If you want. Like, I don't want to, I'd be such like a virgin. That's okay. Virgins are allowed. We've had virgins before. Listen, I love a good virgin. And we take it slow. I love a good virgin. Yes. But I like feel really vulnerable if I don't know what I'm doing. Okay. Well, you can practice. There are so many good YouTube videos. Okay. Should I go to like Michael's? Where do you go to get your needles? Michael's or Joanne? Joanne's. Joanne's Joanne's fabric. Joanne's fabric. Joanne's. It's Joanne. Joanne's. (laughs) <laughs> I get really confused because it's just called Joanne. But that sounds wrong. I, it sounds wrong. Because like, 
I'm going to Joanne. It does, if that's not. It's incorrect it's grammar. It's incorrect grammar. But like, I guess technically that's what it would be. Because Michael's is actually Michael apostrophe, apostrophe S. S. It's actually Joanne. Are you sure? Is the I'm, S really small? I'm positive. There's no S. It's Joanne Fabrics. It's Joanne Fabrics. And Joanne is spelled weirdly. Joanne is spelled normally. Okay. Right? Well, J- I guess J- I don't know how to spell Joanne, but there's only like one. There's I know no it's Joanne. E. There's no E at the end. Whoa. Maybe I'm just imagining it wrong. I think it's J-O-A-N-N. It is, maybe. In it is. People that are really named Joanne spell it that way too? Well, no, I only know one Joanne and she has an E. Right. That's what so I I'm, thought. I was wrong. Yeah. I was picturing an E. Me too. That's what you would think. But it's just J-O-A-N-N. I feel like they're kind of trolling us. Yeah. So you literally would have to be like, I'm going to Joanne. Okay, so I either go to Joanne yes. or Michael's. Yes. Does it, could you ever order anything online? Yes. Okay. I do. Off of like Amazon? Yeah. I could send you. Well, or, or like Etsy. Or like Michael's, the app. Like they both have apps. Oh, they have apps. And yeah. And they ship to you. Yeah. So I'll send you like a starter pack. Yeah. Send me a starter pack. Yeah. I actually really, I think I need like a, I need a, like a calming, relaxing hobby. And you could do something like the mood blanket because that's like a little bit every day. I love that. Yeah. That's such a good idea, Brooke. Thank you, Kelsey. It, I did not come up with it. The mood blanket? Not at all. Where'd you see it? Well, I saw people doing a temperature one. Okay. Which is like, this is what the temperature is every day. Like blue is cold, whatever. That's weird. Um, But it's like, we live in LA, so it's going to be just like kind of consistent. Also, and also like, why do you care? Right, why do you care? Why do you want to remember what the temperature right, was? Right. It didn't feel personal. No. No. And then I saw one girl do a poop one. If she pooped or not, or what if the poop she pooped was or like. not, what the poop was like. That's insane. How many times she pooped? That I loved. But I don't mind that, but like, how do you like? What if you don't want to explain that to someone? I think she just wanted to. But what if you like bring someone home, right? That's new. Maybe she would just be like, "This is my blanket, and it has no significance." Okay. But yeah, honestly, maybe. like the right person is going to love that for her. That's so true. You know. Thank you for reminding me about that. So it could be that. like a test, like if she brings someone home. She explains the blanket. Yeah. And if they're the they're, right one, they stay. Right. If they're not, they leave. Fine. Fine. No skin off her back. Good riddance. Yeah, exactly. Okay. okay. So you saw poop one. So the poop one. And then I decided on to do. Yeah. I'm on You're knit, knit talk. Knit, knit, I'm on knit talk. Knit talk, obviously. Yeah. 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 So then I was like, okay, I'll do mood because that makes the most sense to me. That makes complete sense. Yeah. I can't wait. Are you documenting this on TikTok? No. Well, no, but I will. Okay. Like in in a wrap up or a knitting club video. I haven't okay. told anyone about it yet, but I did on YouTube shorts that no one watches. <laughs> <laughs> Do you like YouTube shorts? No one watches them. So. so it's kind of a safe space. Yeah, it's a safe space. And I have like a deal with them going. So you love YouTube shorts. I love, I love YouTube shorts. <laughs> I do. Yeah. You could say that. That's good. Yeah. I'm glad. Yeah. I'll go watch them. I wouldn't. <laughs> but you can. I'm going to. Okay. It's a safe space. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. I'm glad. Thanks. Okay, so wow, I'm really excited about this mood blanket. I can't wait for you I to see it. I can't wait to see it. I hope today's is good. Do you want to know what the moods I have are? Yes. Okay, let me pull up my notes. Okay, and if you could tell us why you remember, why, if you remember why they were what they were. Oh, like for the days? It's just like a quick little synopsis. Okay. Well, just in terms of the colors, light blue. Okay. That's going to be like obsessive. Oh, slash, okay. slash delusional. So that's like when okay. I'm like... When you're like crushing hard. Crushing on a on celebrity internet, that I'm celebrity. like living in my head kind of situation. Okay. Were okay. you feeling light blue at all so Two far? times. Twice. I was feeling light blue on the 10th and 11th. Who were they? Well, uh, okay, <laughs> two, day, two, two days. Two days. This is a real person, so I'll tell you off of the podcast. Okay. Okay. I genuinely cannot wait. And, is but, it Patrick? It's not Patrick. Okay. Because I also, feel like I would do that for, I would do light blue for Patrick. I love, love <laughs> Patrick. He should come on circle time. We should have him on. Okay. Okay. Put a pin in that. Okay. Dark blue, exhausted. Mm-hmm. Most of mine have been dark blue so far. Okay. Because it's fine. January. Yeah. Yeah. Then light green is happy. Okay. You those. Okay. You those sprinkled, sprinkled in. Sprinkled in. Awesome. Love to see. Dark green productive and I have one of those which was the other day when we recorded a podcast that's amazing that felt like a good task yeah that that's, I that's amazing finished. I'm happy for that thank you purple's depressed but I haven't had that yet look at this which is awesome. this is a great year so far white is grumpy which was yesterday okay I was feeling grumpy feeling yesterday. grumpy yeah yeah I get that yeah gray is anxious and then black is sick and that's it have you had any grays or blacks 
I've had a lot of grays. Okay. And I had one black, but okay. I was hungover. Classic. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Wow. Mm-hmm. That honestly, like all things considered, I feel like so far you've had you've had a good mix of days. It, it's so colorful. That's amazing. Yeah. I and Thank you just you, chose those colors. They looked kind of good, look good together. together and yeah. So and then you just put them with each mood. Exactly. Okay. And now, now question: What if you? What if all of a sudden one day you're just like feeling this feeling something you've never felt before? That is totally possible that I had to add delusional slash obsessive when that happened. Okay. Yep. I'm it's so just curious. Just like constantly changing. Yeah. So you, you, you have extra it. colors and lying around. I have extra colors. Okay. Thank God. It's kind of a learning as we go. I cannot mm-hmm. wait to see this. I'm really excited for it. I think when this episode comes out, you should send me a picture of the progress so okay. far so we can show the circulars. Okay, good. I'll feel that. as though that this is a safe enough space it's for that. It's such a safe space. When does this episode come out? Sometime in February. Okay, perfect. Then I'll have, I'll be caught up. Yeah, we could, we yeah. could do it whenever. Okay, cool. Yeah, don't yeah. even worry. Awesome. I can't wait to show you. I can't wait to see it. Now, normally we, well, I usually do like an icebreaker with my guests. Okay. But we definitely already broke the ice. Right. But I was wondering if you still wanted to do it. I would it's like never to. have I ever. And I just love playing that with people. Okay. Do you want to do it? Yes. Are you, are you sure? Yeah, I'm bad at never have I ever just because I've never done anything. Neither have I. Okay. These are pretty like general ones. Okay. Don't even worry. Okay. Now I've done, I've played Never Have I Ever on Circle Time with like a few other guests. Okay. And I kept mm, one or two of the same ones. Perfect. But I still think they're fun. Perfect. Okay. Are we doing five fingers? You could do, or we could just be like, yeah, I've done that. Okay. Whatever you want. So informal. Informal. Casual. Very cash. Cool. Okay. Never have I ever given someone a fake phone number. I've never done that. I have never. I get too nervous. I get too nervous that they're going to call like on the spot. Same. For verification. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Or like in the, like I can't even think of a combination. Like I'm staring at a keypad. Right. The only thing that's coming in my mind is my phone number or like my brother's phone number and he would be so mad at me. Right. So I can't. Also, you know? like, okay, just like don't answer. To me, it's like Yeah, just don't respond. Yeah. yeah. Right. I, exactly. Okay. I get it. Okay. Same page. Never have I ever slid into someone's DMs. I have. Like in a like flirty way. Cause I've slid into like a lot of like for like to be friends. I've done it like with a lot of celebrities who would just like never respond. Okay. Oh, that's does fun. that count? Yeah. Who? Just like any of all of them, I'd say. Okay. Like all of the celebrities that you could think of, I think I've DM them and then I'll always unsend them. You unsend. I unsend, but then there are like a few where I'll like go to DM them again. Okay. And I'll see that like I had left a stray DM like mm. from a year ago. Okay. And that's bad. That's fine. Yeah. Who is the latest one you've DM'd? Probably Matthew Gray Goobler. Okay. Just- How often do you DM him? <laughs> like... Not that often, but like I'll have a drink and be like, okay, he needs to see the FBI vest I knitted or he, he won't Absolutely. be able to sleep at night. No, for sure. Yeah. So I'll send that and then I'll wake up and I'll unsend it. Okay. Rinse, repeat. You should keep, you should keep one. I just get so scared that all of a sudden they're gonna see it and then I will have ruined my chances of being but if chill. They, if they see one. Mm-hmm. Oh, well. If they see one, I feel like that could be like so cute. Mm-hmm. If they see like, multiple I feel right. like then it's not chill but if they see one like because because I try to think of like what would I think if I saw that someone had dm'd me right. I probably like wouldn't I wouldn't be like weirded out right yeah I guess that's a really good point I should leave some leave leave like one yeah of like the vest or something okay I will next time next we time could I do send it, the vest we could do it next time that we go out together speaking of which Brooke came to my birthday party in September or I guess it was beginning of October And you took a photo booth picture. Oh, no. With Frankie. And you left it in the photo booth. And I remember I was like, I was like a good amount of drunk. But Uh I remember this. I saw it sitting there and I was like, I don't want some random like perv to take this picture of Brooke. So I had it in my purse. I've had it in my purse since October. Kelsey, And I've been meaning to give this back to you. (gasps) Thank you so much. Yeah, enjoy it. This is such a gorgeous piece of imagery. Yeah. 
Wow. Thank you, Kelsey. I'm going to keep this in my bag now. Anytime. There we go. Love it. Okay. Anyway. Okay. You so yeah, it. we'll we'll craft that. Okay. And I have not. I did slide into Cody's DMs, but only after we met. Okay. That's I DM'd him yeah. being like Were you the first one to message? Yeah. Wow. Cause we 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 met and we hung out for the night, like mm-hmm. with our all of our friends. Taco Tuesday. No. No. That was like a couple of weeks later. We met like just at like a pregame. Okay. And then we all went out together and then like we were definitely like vibing. Right. But I had a boyfriend. Right. So we were vibing respectfully. Respectful vibing. And then he left. And I was like, he's totally going to ask for my phone number. And he didn't. Okay. And And he knew you had a boyfriend? Yes. Okay. So that's why he didn't. Yeah. Yeah. He was like being like a respectful king. Yeah. And I was being not a respectful queen. Right. Because I got home that night and was like a little bit drunk Uh and DM'd him. What'd you say? The <laughs> like, if this doesn't give you hope for like <laughs> sending a DM to someone, I don't know. It's first of all, it started with yo <laughs> with like eight O's <laughs> and said, like, I could find it. It said, like, yo, can't believe. Oh, I've read this so many times. It says, like, it said, like, can't believe you maybe come all the way to Instagram to find you. Then you didn't ask for my phone number or something like that. And then said, like, had a great time with you tonight. If, cause we, okay. He came over for uh-huh. the pregame. We, I, he was hungry. He like wanted a snack okay. or something. And I had two hard boiled eggs in my fridge. Perfect. And so we stood right when we met, we stood in my kitchen, the two of us and ate hard boiled eggs together and like sprinkled. I only had like one seasoning and it was like time I have or te- something. I have tears in my eyes. <laughs> <laughs> and we sprinkled it on the eggs and ate them. And then I was like, next time you can make the hard boiled eggs. I'll bring the time. Like literally the stupidest message. It was about hard boiled eggs. It started with yo. It was like the worst crafted message. I didn't know you could unsend messages. Uh-huh. So the next day I just was like, yeah, I don't that's think what I you did. could. That's what I time. did. You probably couldn't. And I was like, well, I'm going to have to live with this forever. Uh huh. He will never speak to me again. And then he DM'd me back and said, like another little inside joke from the night and then gave me his phone number. Wow. Yeah. That's a gorgeous story. So then Taco Tuesday happened later. Taco Tuesday then proceeded to happen after when we, cause we like wanted to hang out, mm-hmm. but we couldn't hang out one-on-one. Right. Cause it would have been weird. Right. So we decided to start Taco Tuesday okay. so that like all of our friends could get together mm-hmm. to have Taco Tuesday. Right. And then it was his week and that's when he made the little Taco Tuesday thing. Wow. Crazy. That is I did not mean for that to be that story. A beautiful love story. I never Thanks. get tired of hearing it. Wow. Thank you. Really? Okay. Do you want to do another one? Yeah, I do. These are fun. Never have I ever had a negative bank account balance. I have. I have. I have. I have. Yeah. Yes. But you know what? We made it out the other end. We sure did. And so I- if anyone out there is worried about that, my credit used to be terrible. I used to have a negative bank account balance. Mm-hmm. And then you you figure it out. Look at us now. Look at us now. <laughs> Seriously. I've got like 20 bucks in there. <laughs> <laughs> Same. It's pretty exciting. Yeah. Okay. Never have I ever had a crush on a friend's sibling. I have. Okay. But it wasn't like a debilitating one. Okay. Not top, not tier. No, it wasn't like a tier one, anything. It was just like, oh, when I'm over there. He's cute. He's cute. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I've never had a crush on a friend's sibling. Never? But I feel like people have had crushes on my brother. Oh, yeah. Of course. Kev. You should get Kev on circle time. He called in once. That was so cute. I saw that. He's He's just the sweetest. So sweet. Yeah. Okay. Never have I ever peed my pants as an adult. I have. Not fully, but. I don't, I was going to say, I don't think like a full pee, but from laughing like a few drops. Okay. I have had like some bladder issues, Uh I feel like, where all of a sudden I really have to pee Uh and there is just absolutely no stopping me mm-hmm. like if I don't make it to a toilet right you're I will go. get a drop down my leg wow I've stained my pants once okay good for you because you're hydrated you think that's what it is I do I think I have an issue actually I need to go get cranberry pills after this because I feel like a UTI oh, is coming no. on I've never because, had one because that's what happens I have to pee all of a sudden uh-huh. and I'm in the middle of doing something I can't just get up and pee right you know what I mean right and so then I'm holding my pee Totally. And, and now I'm having a UTI. Can't you, you can get UTIs from holding your pee. I believe you can. Okay. Which, but I'm not 
we're not putting that out into the world. Mm-mm. I'm not Mm-mm. getting one. You but, aren't. Okay, one more. Thrown up in public. Constantly. Yeah. <laughs> it's a classic maneuver. Yeah, I'm like a very, like, I'll just throw up at like any minor right. inconvenience. We've talked about this. <laughs> yeah. I forgot about yeah. that. Yeah. You are you throw up when you get anxious, right? Yeah, like any sort of emotion really okay. is just like I'll puke. But yeah, anxious. Okay. And like after like one drink, I'll, sometimes I'll throw up too. Yeah. Which is I mean, nice. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's pretty awesome when yeah, that happens. It's awesome. And like it's so, it's like makes you feel like really good. Good and grown up and. Yeah. yeah. It does happen to me too though. Yeah. It happens to everyone. It happens to everyone. It happens to everyone. Sure. It does. Yes. No, it does. It's nothing to feel bad about. No, I've thrown I'm, up on myself in public before. That makes you feel better. If you're from li- drinking. A little. It happens to all of us. It happens to everyone. It does. It does. Yeah. We're going to do a story time. Okay, good. Because I love doing them. I especially love doing them with guests. And I feel like you're going to give really good advice. I'm so excited. So people call in. Yeah. They give us situations. Yeah. And we can hopefully, to the best of our ability, help them. Yes. I'd love to do that. Okay. Okay. Here we go. Hi, Kelsey. My name is Maggie. I just wanted to say that, that, first of all, I love your podcast. I I'm also a preschool or daycare teacher. Oh, my God. Um, I'm actually sitting right outside the preschool right now before I go in. So Mm -hmm. I feel very seen by circle time. That's amazing. But I was just hoping to get some advice about my relationship with my boyfriend. I love him so much. We've been dating for like three years And I honestly don't see myself dating anyone else again, which is awesome. But I'm not ready to get married. And I was kind of wondering what made you and Cody feel like you guys were ready to get married. Because I feel like there's a lot of people in my life right now saying, if you're not going to date anyone else, then why don't you just get married? Mm -hmm. But I don't know. There's something in me telling me that I'm not ready. So... I was wondering if you could kind of share more of your experience with choosing to get engaged and what made you guys feel like it was time for marriage. Thank you. Bye. Okay. Interesting. First of all, love your name. I really love the name Maggie. Maggie. I think it's really cute. Yeah. And good luck out there entering the classroom every day. Mm -hmm. We stand with you. That's the worst part. The hardest part is getting out of the car. For sure. (laughs) (laughs) Especially on like a like a Wednesday, Ugh. just like on a day when there's no nothing nothing ahead. Oh, Tuesdays too. Yeah. Oh wow. Mondays. Oh god. <laughs> Thursdays <laughs> don't even. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but for real, you've got this. When it comes to your relationship and doing, like not getting married or not feeling ready, I really just think with everything, you have to just listen to that and trust yourself and like you don't have to do literally anything you don't want to do if you don't feel ready with anything I love that like I mean it's just it's so what if people are saying like isn't it time or Mm -hmm. whatever if you don't feel like it's time like you you're not in any rush I think that I think I there was like I I felt the same way about Cody like I was like I'm not There's no one else that I'd rather be with or no one else that I feel like is better for me or whatever it is. But there there were times where I was like, if as long as him and I were on the same page and we were like in it together, then I don't care if he if we get married or not. Like I'd rather just I'd rather be in like a solid partnership with someone than like just get married to get married because you think that it's what you're supposed to do. And then eventually I was I felt ready and he felt ready and we were on the same page and then it happened. But like, you don't need to rush anything that you don't feel like you're ready for. And that's fine. It doesn't mean like your relationship isn't strong. It doesn't mean anything. It just, you, you do you, you know, it's a huge decision and it's like your decision. It's not anyone else's. That all sounds really good to me. Thank you. Yeah. Do you have any, do you have anything you want to say? I guess just like kind of echoing and you know, <laughs> piggybacking off what you just said. Yeah. Kelsey, just because you're not ready to get married doesn't mean you love him any less or exactly. that your relationship isn't super strong. Right. It's just like that will come with time and doesn't say anything about how your relationship is. Right. Yeah. I, I agree. Okay. And you're going to be fine. You are. Do like, but only if you stay true to like what you want. You have to do that with everything. 
everyone listening, no matter what it is, stay true to how you feel and what you believe in. Yes. Love you, Mags. Love you, Maggie. Good luck. Good luck, Max. <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're here for you. <laughs> okay. So I know it's been a long episode, so we're only doing one story today. Okay. But we are going to do it also a journal question. I love these. Because journal questions are my fave. And I have a variety here love. for you to choose from. Oh, I get to pick. Yeah, I'm mixing them up. Okay. I decorate them with pipe cleaners. I love that. Do some ASMR. Oh my God, love it. Crispy. Okay, ready? Yes. If you could only wear one outfit for the rest of your life, what would it look like? This is so crazy. I was just thinking, looking at you. Okay. That I would wear that outfit. <gasps> oh my God. And I'm not even like just saying that. I was, I just have been thinking about your outfit because I've been having a hard time with clothes recently. Okay. Yeah. So I would wear what you're wearing right now. Okay. Yeah. Like jeans a, and a sweater. Jeans and a sweater. So yeah. also what you're wearing right now. Yeah. But this took me like there's something not that's not feeling the same way that yours is feeling. <laughs> <laughs> I think that that is in your head because I love that sweater. And I was thinking about how I liked your sweater when we were sitting here. And so I feel mm -hmm. like we're wearing basically the same exact <laughs> right. thing. Right. Here's the thing with this sweater. Okay. It's so long. That Mine's I have long to too. tuck some of it. Same. Are you tucked right now? Yeah. Oh, I'm French tucked. I had no idea. Yeah. Okay. This might change everything. Yeah. I'm tucked. I guess maybe I would actually wear a matching sweat set. Okay. Every day? What color? If Okay. Every day out of the house, I would wear what you're wearing. Okay. Every day in the house, mm -hmm. I would wear a gray on gray. Love. A grout fit. Crew neck. Okay. And sweats. Beautiful. Anything mm -hmm. on... Yes, there is something on it. I mm -hmm. just can't exactly picture what it says. Yeah. There's like some sort of design on it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I love it. I love it too. Yeah. And socks. Merch, perhaps? Maybe merch. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. No, like you should make that for your yeah. merch. Maybe I will. Okay. Maybe I will. That sounds amazing. Yeah. Thank you. How about you, Kelsey? I would probably wear some form of baggy jean mm -hmm. little top. That's my yes. like go to. Yes. But I also like I really love like a baggy top yeah. as well. Yeah. So I would I would feel like going out of the house, baggy jean little top, staying home, I would also do a sweatsuit. Perfect. Yeah. Here's a question. Yeah. If you're like kind of in and out of the house all day mm -hmm. in your baggy, you're no, you're wearing a your outdoor outfit is little top, mm -hmm. baggy jean. Yeah. You come home to nap mm -hmm. on the couch. Mm -hmm. Are you changing into the sweatsuit? I'm nap? I'm not. You're not. Wow. It depends. If I'm on the couch, I'm taking my pants off, mm -hmm. putting a blanket over mm -hmm. myself and sleeping. Okay. I guess same thing for if I was napping in my right. bed. Right. Usually the pants will come off and then I, but I will have but a blanket have, on. And you'll have or a little a bathrobe. Top. With little top. I'll keep the top on. Okay. It depends, Got really. It. it kind of depends on mm -hmm. my mood, what it's like in my house. Sometimes hey, I I'll get sleep. It. Sometimes I, well, not, I don't do this, like, I have slept in jeans once or twice. Mm -hmm. That's fine. Usually because I'm drunk. Yeah. But sometimes because I'm napping. Yes. So it's really all depends. Just doing, we do the best we can with what we have. Exactly. Yeah. What about you? I feel like I'm in and out of my outside yeah outfit so you're sweater, changing jeans. throughout the day honestly i might just change once like i'll go home mm -hmm. put on my gray on grays yeah and i do have to go back out of the house tonight yeah i don't know whether i'll just keep the gray on gray on okay or Where, what are you doing on. tonight it, i just am going to my friend tristan's house oh my gosh it's his birthday it's his, birth, it's yeah. his birthday so happy it's kind birthday, of just like tristan. a little happy hour with friends okay in I the house in the house but what if it turns into you guys going somewhere if I don't want to go somewhere, which I don't, I will intentionally wear the sweatsuit. Oh, okay. So then that I, I support the so sweatsuit. That, yeah, so I'll probably wear that. Okay, I'm looking forward to seeing content to see what yeah. you've decided. Thank, and I'll let you know. You'll Thank see. You. Okay. Yeah. Well, there we have it. That is the oh, end of this episode of Circle Time. I'm so sad that it's over. Me too, but I'll see you again. Yeah, I'll see you. <laughs> I'll see you when I drive you home yeah. after this. Yeah. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Okay, well, thank you, Brooke, so much. Thanks Do you want to tell me. the circlers where they can find you if they don't already know? Yes. So I have a podcast that's called Brooke and Connor Make a Podcast. Mm -hmm. um, you can listen to that on Spotify or wherever you listen to podcasts mm -hmm. or on YouTube. 
And I guess that's really it. You can find me on Instagram yeah. at Brooke Averick. Okay. And TikTok is Lady Efron. And there you have it. And there you have it. Go, go listen and follow. And um, yeah, thank you all for listening. Make sure to, Marshall, what do I say? <laughs> Make sure to follow, rate, and leave a review. And thank you all so much for listening. And I love you all. And I'll see you next time. Bye. Bye. note that this episode may contain paid endorsements and advertisements for products and services. Individuals on the show may have a direct or indirect financial interest in products or services referred to in this episode.